waiting here to shoot me down. No, I have no right to do that. But you want to? I just, I don't understand what happened in that meeting. I, th I thought you were going to back me and put a rocket up, Rebecca, and instead you... Well, technically, she's right. Under the new rules, we did everything we could for the patient. We failed her completely. Chris and I saved her life. I'm not talking about you guys. The system. Yeah. Lovely asked for a termination. She should have been given one. I know. So why didn't you back her up in the meeting? There were other hospitals, clinics. Instead, she chose another option. A backyard abortion? That's not a choice, Drew. That is a decision made by a very distraught young woman who wasn't being listened to. I have to go. No, well, I just don't get it. You know how wrong this is. What? Abandoning me and the kids wrong? Worse? Stuff happens. If you are facing tough times, if you have overdue bills or not enough food to pack school lunches, then please do get in touch with the team at Brightshine and we will help you. But don't forget, Jesus said that you... Oh, hi, Jack. We're live streaming? Oh, sorry. Oh, no, it's okay. We have over 3,000 viewers. Would you like to come and say hello? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, family, I better get back to work. I love you. But Jesus loves you even more. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt your sermon. Oh, no, no, it's OK. I'm just trying to keep in communication with the church family. Thank you, Monique. Cool. And you've got a meeting in five minutes. OK, great. Have you downloaded the Brightshine app? Not yet. Get it done. End of day. I will be checking. <laughs> how, how can I help? It's the interns. Yes? They need to go. Why? They're so keen. They're incompetent. They get in the way in clinical areas. They're intrusive on personal lives. Well, really? How so? We're booking a counselling session for Marty without his permission. Oh, well, no, no, that definitely can't happen. I'll, I'll talk to them. No, talk is not enough. I will organise some training sessions. No, we want them gone. OK, Jack, I hear you, but shouldn't you check in with Harper? She is HOD. No, Harper wants to throttle them all. And Marty, TK. I'm the only one with enough guts to come and say anything. Actually, and while I'm at it, no one wants the dumb Brightshine app or rapid assessment protocols in ED or backyard abortions. Man, the list goes on. Huh. You know what I like about you, Jack? You take no prisoners. I thought you'd shoot me down. Oh, are you kidding me? I am surrounded by yes men. I need people like you to tell me the truth. I do have another meeting now, but can we pick this up later on? Yeah, sure. Thank you, Jack. You are so refreshing. I just want to scream at him, but I can't because I have no right to. Scream at who? Drew, of course. Or something happened. He's gone full pro-life. Sorry? Yeah. You heard about that botched abortion? Yeah, I, I did hear. Poor Lovely. She must have been so desperate. She was turned away from Shortland Street. And Drew thinks, yeah, yeah, that's fine. No, he doesn't. Yeah, yeah. In a meeting, he backed Rebecca all the way. Right. Hey! Oh, I was thinking, Harper's Happy Meal. What's that? Um, big dinner tonight for the kids, mac and cheese. Ah, uh, sure, yeah, that'd be great. I can be fake nice for a while my punishment. Anyway, um, enough about me. How's Leanne? Is she staying in overnight? Um, still nauseated and dizzy. OK, well, I'll come for a proper visit later. Mum would love that. OK, I'll be back to talk to you soon. Oh, you just missed Drew. Oh, did I? Everything all right? Uh, yep, yep, um, I just picked up a couple of things for Mum. Oh, Drew was such a comfort. And not like us, apparently. Oh, he's such a gentleman. Bedside manner of a saint. <laughs> like a son to me. So what did he say? Did he say that you didn't need to worry about the anaesthetic, that you're not going to be paralysed this time? Yes, he did. Yeah, so, so you consent to the operation? Absolutely not. OK. I'm looking at other options. Hearing loss is a... Frightening thought. Okay, now look, look at me, see? My balance is absolutely perfect. I have no need for the operation. Yep, look at you now, you're walking just fine. What did I tell you? She's not right. Sorry, what was that? Leanne is worried about you. Strange behavior. Odd. <clears throat> have you been experiencing any anxiety? 
Yeah, yeah, I am. Help her, Chris. Get her that magic mushroom drug again. I don't need psilocybin. Well, I could do with a little sip. Help settle my nerves. Well, I'll get you a cover. No, there is no need. I'm being discharged. Nicole. I don't need any anti-anxiety medication. But you are stressed. Running away. Sorry? Hiding around corners. Oh, you saw that. Yeah. Um, three other people in a room. Is it too much? Do you need to go back to counselling? Yeah, I wish you knew. I'm listening. I can't say, but I, I promise you that I'm not losing my mind and I'm not anxious about anything, you know, big. I just, um, they've got to sort something out. Something about Drew? There you go, profile pic is looking good. Sweet. I don't think I need the app. Yeah, it's for everyone, good for comms. Hi, everyone. Uh, Junior is just making sure my app is up to date. New picture. Very nice. Rebecca, got time for selfie? Got some fans over here. Of course. Hello, how are you? Wow. She's like world famous in Ferndale. It's like that wherever she goes, apparently. Because of Brighter Day CV, it's going big. You guys doing a good job today, not getting told off? Yeah, we always get told off, kind of getting used to it. No, <laughs> oh, big bully doctors. Yup. You okay there, Tyler? Uh-huh. Photo shoot all done? Oh, I should have checked my lippy first. It's perfect. These interns performing up to scratch? Amazing. Sure? Oh, honestly, this place would fall apart without them. I'm so proud of our little team. Oh, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> Are you going my way? I am, actually. What's wrong with you? Nothing. Nothing. Fossils. Fossils. Friends of Shortland Street, the original volunteer service. They were great. Never got in our way. I'm gonna stop you right there, Jack. Just get them back, send the interns back to Brightshine, let them help you with the church, whatever you do, help people. The agenda of this meeting has changed. Hey. Eh? We now have a situation to deal with. Okay. You've been working very closely with the interns, yes? I wouldn't say working, more like damage control. Right. Well, unfortunately, an accusation has been made against you. What kind of accusation? Grooming. Sorry? Fostering a relationship in order to have sexual relations with an intern. What? And it gets worse. This particular intern is underage.